We got Olympian. We got Olympian here. It's good to be here again, Vancouver. Lyft 2020. Very exciting. Very exciting. The uh, industry is evolving very quickly. Very quickly f transitioning from the gray area, you know, into the legal market. And yeah. I think a, a lot of companies are, uh, you know, struggling to make that transition also. Uh, we've got uh, an industry that's not in its infancy. You know, we've got, you know, a lot of years of great cultivators, you know, uh, stewards of the plants. And all of a sudden, we got to evolve and right. evolve or die. That's really it. And, you know, from the get-go, I've always been about craft cannabis and uh, branding and storefronts. And it's only just been recently released, uh, you know, the possibility of having your own storefront just came true, like, over just over a year ago. So uh, we were a little ahead of the curve. But, uh, yeah, we're aligning ourselves and looking forward to the future. Very cool. Ross Ragliati, Olympian. And we have... Ali, Ross's wife. Hey, Ali, we have Ali's Ross's wife, and he actually brought his Olympic uh, medal with him. That's super cool. Nagano, 1998. It's a pretty big deal, right? You were the first Olympian to uh, get busted for smoking weed, you know? Basically, yeah. The one, the, the first guy that got outed for weed. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there was some ups and downs, but I'm pretty proud to be the guy that uh, got to carry the torch for weed for 22 years, you know, straight off the podium. Yeah. yeah. Super exciting. I mean, and, and now to actually be able to tell the story and be in a country where it's federally legal, that's a pretty big deal. Yeah, a big turnaround. Big yeah. turnaround. <laughs> so now I'm squeaky clean. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, guys.